Hey guys, Cloud here, and I'm back today with another video. This one is going to be how to do trig functions, which I've gone over before uh, a few times, but this time I'm presenting the simplest way. It's not necessarily the most efficient, but it's the easiest for me to explain to you guys. And uh, this is, well, it's basically the most efficient way. So what's going on here? If you look at my top right corner, this is my minimap plugin. Uh, sorry data pack and uh, I showed it off last video and basically what it does is it lets me see where entities are on my uh, mini map translated into these coordinates based on the way that I'm facing so if I face this way it means there's an entity directly in front of me and you can see there's one right here but when I rotate it will show that he's to my right so how did I get this rotation I use something called the rotation of axes and rotation of axes basically says that if you want to rotate your main, if you turn your head basically, all of the dots or positions on the graph can be represented and found in their new location using x equals x prime cosine theta, uh, sorry, x prime equals x cosine theta plus y sine theta, y prime equals minus x sine theta plus y cosine theta. So basically what I'm trying to get with this is sometimes you want to do something cool in Minecraft and it requires math. Sometimes you have to use a sine or a cosine, some trig. And this is how to quickly get a cosine or a sine very efficiently and very accurately. And we'll go over how accurately it is. So there's a new system. So let me disable this data pack just for uh, cleanliness so it's gone um, anyways so there is a system that lets you use a relative coordinates so if I use this and I put five that means five in the direction I'm facing there will place a stone and as you can see approximately five in the direction I'm facing there's a stone of course it's shifted down because my eye it's uh, this doesn't go based on my eyes it goes based on my feet um, if I wanted it to come out of my eyes, I'd have to shift it upwards. But basically in the direction of where my feet are, facing the direction I'm facing, starting from my feet, it puts a stone. So this can get kind of interesting. So if I decide to go just one, what does that do? It puts one that direction, right? And when you go into trig, if I go here and I go trigonometry triangle, we're going to go and get a trigonometry triangle. We can just take a look at it real quickly here. This is how trig works. We will go with this. So you have hypotenuse, sine, and cosine. And sine is equal to the opposite uh, side divided by the hypotenuse. But if we say that the hypotenuse is 1, then sine of theta is equal to opposite. So if we go into this and we pick some point, AKA the player's location, and then we use this ray casting line to go, and I'm going to go 10, so it's exaggerated, but realistically, we really only need one and you'll see why, but I'll go 10. So if we pick that point, and then we pick this point that the player has, right? We know that this is roughly 10 okay so this is roughly 10 or i'll just directly put it at the right spot so we are 10 up right now if we want to figure out what the sine is well sine is equal to the opposite and that's it because we know that the uh we know that the hypotenuse is exactly 10 so in this case we would just take the opposite angle which is the length of this line and divide it by 10. And that would give me exactly what sine of theta is. Sine of theta is equal to the length of this line divided by 10. Um, but in our case, we're just gonna use one. So then it will be exactly equal to the length of this line. And if we want cosine, well, cosine is just the length of this line. So how do we do that mathematically? 
with stuff in Minecraft. You get the length of this line and the length of this line. Well, that's fairly simple. It depends on what direction you want to use. So you have two angles that you can work with with the player, and that is Rx and Ry. So I divided my math and trig, and I will have a uh, zip file with all these functions in the description. I divided it into Rx, Ry, and uh, sine and cosine. So there's actually four because 3D sine and cosine is a little bit more complicated and not really necessary for most cases. Um, in this mini map case, I only needed 2D and I needed it horizontally. So if you say, let's say sine of RY, what are we gonna do? So we're gonna start with this idea, except instead of placing a block, we are going to spawn a area effect cloud. So what we do is we use this cool system right here called rotated tilde zero. So what this does is it keeps my uh, horizontal rotation, my left to right rotation, but it makes my vertical rotation zero. Then it summons an area effect cloud directly one block in the direction I'm facing minus the vertical. So if I look like this, it will summon an area effect cloud like here, but it won't summon it vertically because I got rid of the vertical component before summoning it. Okay, so we have that guy. Now all we have to do is take, well, sorry uh we want we can close that we want to get the distance from uh essentially we want to get the distance from here to here except like flat so it would be like left to right so we just need to grab the position of the player so we store onto a scoreboard what my position is times a thousand so we have some accuracy then we store onto another scoreboard the position in the same coordinate direction of the area effect cloud times a thousand. Then we subtract their position minus our position, and we get a result of, well, the distance. If we take, if we grab this point, and then we grab this point, and we subtract them, that gives us the distance here. And the distance is exactly equal to the sign. And then we kill the area effect cloud. So if I am looking, um, let's give it. 77 78.6 okay math colon trig slash cosine rx uh no sorry ry or sine ry um keep in mind that ry means this left value and rx means the vertical it's kind of confusing but ry is horizontal and rx is vertical and that's just because that's how the game does it if you do a selector if entity add a rotation uh, X rotation. X rotation is vertical and Y rotation is horizontal. Um, so if I play that function, I'm going to get negative 883. So let's try this. Let's plug the sine of negative 62.1 into a calculator. So we just have to go negative 62.1 and then we click sine. And what's the value? Negative 8837656, blah, 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 blah. So this gave us the first three decimal places in the form of 100. So if you see 1,000, that's one. And that's that's good. That's that's great. That gives us the cosine. Perfect. Um, that's very accurate. Um, accurate to three decimal places. It doesn't round the last decimal place because Minecraft doesn't round. It truncates. Um, yeah, so let's try one other thing. This is given, but the sine of 180 should be 0. And what do we get? Negative 3, because we're not exactly 180. And the sine of 0 should be really... Uh, well, we're close to 0, so we get 8, which is 0 .008. If we're exactly 0, then we'll get a... Uh, we're still 1, so if I go like this, I can get myself exactly 0, and now I have 0. But the sine of negative 90 is negative 90. Negative 1, I mean, so negative 1,000. And the sine of 90 is positive 1, so 1,000. All right, so then all you have to do is build this up. So if the sine is whatever is associated with the position at 0, which is the x-coordinate, then what is cosine? It's going to be the other one. So cosine is associated with the z-coordinate. Then that's really it. So now when I look at 90 but I use the cosine, then it gives me close to zero. If I look at zero, it gives me one. And if I look at 180, it gives me negative one. And if I look at positive 90, it gives me close to zero. All right, so that's sine and cosine. And then in the r y direction, now our x direction, which is vertical, is basically exactly the same, except we make the 
rotation in the horizontal direction zero, and we make the vertical rotation itself. And when we do this, we have to use the Y coordinate for sine. So this is more similar to this case. This is the case for R, uh, Rx. So Rx case, we're gonna grab the Y coordinates for the sine. And we're gonna grab the Z coordinates for the cosine, if I believe, I believe so. The uh, Z coordinates for the cosine. So we grab the Y coordinates for the sine, the Z coordinates for the cosine. And then the one little trick is if you're the cosine is always going to be positive for this range and this one makes it negative so i just make it force it to be positive with this last line here so if i do that and i look with f3 my second rotation coordinate right here is at zero so the cosine of rx is one but the sine of rx is zero now if i look directly up the sine of rx is negative the sine of negative 90 which is negative one but the sine of 90 is positive one. But what's the cosine of this? Zero. But what's the cosine of this? Zero. But what's the cosine of this? Positive 809. What's the cosine of pretty much the same angle but the other direction? Positive 809, because that's the cosine of positive 30 versus the cosine of negative 30, which from the calculator, if we go 30 and we go cosine, that gives us that value. And if we go 30 and we go negative and then we go cosine, it gives you the same value because cosine is an even function. Um, anyways, that's pretty much it. That's how you get cosine and sine if you ever need it. Um, I pretty much did that for the minimap. Um, I grabbed those two values and then used them in the different locations to multiply and add and uh, put everything together from there. I am putting together kind of a math data pack and I'll be going over like each individual piece of it and then have like a full download at the end. It's not necessarily the most efficient math data pack out there, but it's made to be easy to use and really easily modular. So if you don't want to use the whole data pack, you can literally just download my data pack, keep it in your world. But then if you want to use one of the functions, but you only want like one thing, you can just, for example, this RNG function, you just click and drag it into your own data pack and it'll just work from your data pack just like that. It's not dependent on anything except for the uh, scoreboards it uses, which is typically only math in, math in one, and math out. Those are typically the only things it uses, but there's a few extras like math temp. Um, but yeah, so you could just click and drag the init into your init, and then you click and drag the file that you want into yours, and we'll go over each of these because they use some cool little tricks. Anyways, guys, other than that, I need to get a new mic, but uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.